Yes, it's Aiden, but you can hear me. But you can call me Aiden, but that's okay. I know Fraps is running in the corner, it's just I don't want to run it because it's almost like a stress test and it's a pain in the butt to turn off. Like, I'll turn it off right now. Like, hold up. Yeah, stop. Hold up. You know you can't catch me. To start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Shut up. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. I don't have a fork. He gets up. I can't do it. Sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the room. Oh, very good. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the Ripplin walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. I forgot what it was called. There's this new uh that a survivor. No man. Third person game it's just like this was made by forced same out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. An old repeater like, falls out of the sky. A giant sword for some Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. No, not that. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Our oh, bad grandpa was the best. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. I get a fashion accessory covered in soot. It's very valuable, so I'm very dirty. Cement. Sentimental What's a bastion moves? Sounds like Sebastian moves. Body goes over the sea. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink here or something. I don't know. Do you want to play? He sets foot inside one of Selandia's uh, famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Oh. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. You wish. Okay. It's like on James But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gotcha. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Them windbags are playing for keeps. The kid sees the way to the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Okay, why can't I get... What is there, like... Oh. I didn't see that. Like, he gets a good look at things on his way down. Two dollars. He lands he on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Yeah, 
and a bunch of other games like Braid. Which is actually a good phenomenal game to get, actually. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. What long before the kid could lose an arrow, strong and true. Can't pick up from the fountain. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. If you fall off, you can get back on, but it costs you life points. Yeah. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Because, like certain places, if you keep pressing space, you fall off the watch. And then he falls to his but death. Then you come right back. I'm just fooling. But you lose the health. Picks up a few oh, pointers from a dusty old, old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. Oh, and they use these black, like black things. I don't know what they're called. They're like they're like cocktails. You better watch his step. You find the distillery right okay. next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits uh, in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Oh, no, it's still bread and nonchalant, very nutritious. over there. I want squirt cider because that's actually it's actually used where the kid can pick the best tools for the I job. won't be able to use this unless I unlock it so I'm gonna use the breaker's bow on this. Let's get out of here yo. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. My body loves me. Damn it, those guys. The bed for a reason. After I get past this level, oh, oops, you can play. That one was Maud, the tutor. Oh, so nice. Once taught actually... the kid good manners. He never used them though. I mean, like I literally, ah, I just fell off the world. Old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. What's that? Oh, what? Kid takes a chunk of alloy, smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Oh no. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Jeez, man.
scumbag of his last name. Can't complain for two bucks. It looks better than Outlast, though. Yeah, Outlast was built with. Outlast was built with like a death kit. He finds the core to the Wharf District. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Now the kid sees something stranger still. Oh, His mind survived. races. Bastion. Did anybody oh, else survive? Oh, sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Yes. We talk yes. for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Oh, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Oh, the core is waking watch. up. That's okay. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. And just like that, <laughs> the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kids Maybe gotta put its power to good use. I don't need a now the bastion can send him even farther into sure. the wild unknown. Personal supply. What do you think? I don't want to fetch and fizz. Fetch and fizz is like yeah, a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. The Skyway. Like, yeah. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. So let's fly here. Mm. Right, so I drink a bunch now of he lands at the intersection the between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Where are the black ones better? Like the smoogles or schmeels? I have no idea what they're called. He's got oh, back from that chest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Keeps telling himself he better watch his steps. That was extremely fast. They say even the most rambunctious sports can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Sports just don't know when to quit. You do, you like it. Each time you get a core, you get He heads like for the biggest dump in town. Place. Scumbag alley. And 
hit this fell off. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. Inside the forge, Kick and find two of those instruments of his. A harder, heavier, 50 plus percent. Kid's lifelong friend ah, looking to fit that. to keep on fighting. Okay, I can switch back for it, that's fine. That's really it. Core ain't here neither. So not really gonna guess be again. Using this form should be. Really. An interest. Oh, that's nice. That's nasty. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Oh, he looks the guy from Bray. Never much care for no. that big wide grin of his. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. I have no idea what that is. That's a squirt. That's disgusting. Oh, I gotta put the core in. He does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. To make my own federal pseudo feds. Ah, oh, arsenal. The bastions are peace of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Yes, we're not that's fine. Ain't much kid can't handle with hammer and 
Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. I wonder how long it takes to beat this game. No. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. But then somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way on the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world reign. So much for noise and tomfoolery. Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Quick and careful is the only way to go. The calamity changed everything. Even when the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, oh, ain't no surprise I stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Kid, that core ain't coming back. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. Keeps coming back to an overwhelming What's question. It's just a charred figure. Who else could have survived the calamity? Oh, no, I can't hear the sound, so hold up. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Okay. Fly there. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. I just squish them on that thing, but sorry. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stag weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. It must be for the uh, skull bone. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down.
core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No breaking a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Oh Ways and ends. Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipping start falling in. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. left and the core goes free. Ten, yeah, nine, like eight, seven, we give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. face after that one. What are you from Wolfenstein? The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. I like who says that. The old world's finished, but the new one's A lot just of things gonna... need fixing up in this world, um, and we can start definitely. right here. Wait, oh, that's secondary stuff, so... With a good length of me's gut, that bow's like new again. Can't be too careful these days.
The calamity took everybody after all. Kids he's a plane and frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Kid sees him there again. In the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop. No matter what. He's got so many questions after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tundra Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nordy the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Oh, what is that? There's a shovel. I need to get over it. Oh, whoops. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, I don't know we wouldn't be here right now, would we? Really, you're gonna freak? You're gonna burn thousand dollar tickets? And then, just because? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he oh, says this: Fellowship of the Ring. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. They're actually quite... He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Okay. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we built. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. His real word about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Kid ain't finished here yet. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again.
takes us some fragments, and the Bastion makes it good as new. of the city. Too bad it lies deep inside the toughest for in the city. There's only one way in the cinder brick fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the force is crawling with wooden bags. It's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by rain. Can't blame them for one. Trapped the kid in the middle of the Forge Marine grounds. Big, but it's not. He's blasting everything in sight with that new fangled musket. Then they bring out Glutus and Glandon, and all their scumbag uncles. The uncles go out with a whimper. Something to gain, and only their sorry eyes to lose. Gosh darn thing. Well, there's a lot of recording like this. 
this is because uh, I really don't want to use fast. The other know, big so fellas who joined his brother, now. wherever they are now. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The memorial. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Oh, this is sweet. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Okay, so this is like challenging. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. The Marshals seemed like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Well, the Marshal of the town has a million... Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Kids ready to get real personal with hammer and musket in hand. I know. Finders keepers. Wow, that's spitting up getting us is considered really perfective. That'd be cool. To upgrade this kit. You want to tune a scrap that's musket, you start with the barrel. praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. I woke up. Folks used to make pilgrimage <laughs> here to pay their respects to Piff, the bull. Oh, God. Well, the Try gods this. are long gone now. And the orchard core is long gone too. That's hilarious. Seems Piff ain't much of a Seems watchdog. <laughs> Pith stood for something once. Something real. 
Um, whoopsie. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Piff makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Piff lights up like a rodeo. So what'll it be? Invoke oh, the gods, the or tell them off. Okay. Gotta come. Oh, hold up, my goodness. Got it from the chat. I know it. Photo shall go. Completion. Ten percent. Piff. He decides to press his luck. If the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Yeah. Kid ain't never seen one bags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. himself with the likes of Pith. The kid passes Pith's trial, and he's richer for it. The kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. At least. Pith orchard. Places a dead end in more ways than one. Jeez. What are you doing? Now we can build a shrine of our own. Nice. Though I got some alternatives in mind. You know how they are. They're like made of titanium steel. <laughs> Tell that to the alligator that's moving around. Or detected reaching mineral status. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. So bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. It's hilarious.
They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Try as you might know, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. At least she picked a good spot for a break. The core is right there. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. They had their own eyes on the core, but why? He finds Weepinelli raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the water's getting rough. She's gonna need a little help with all her peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Security skips keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Solid ground and bigger country. They want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? My character, I...
Well, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? That's why. What's Putang? Putang or something. Enough money for poo tank, guess what I've got? More poo tank. 
don't even know what that means. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. They'll be here before too long. <laughs> oh, we got another new character now. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow Ura again. We become insane. fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Should I finish for the last core or wrap it up? I get surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Behold the Pantheon. Just gonna wrap the game up tonight then. We tracked the final core beyond the, the city core. to the wilds. I think okay. I thought there was gonna be more than one. I was like, what? I almost said one more core. I'm gonna repopulate the The wild the unknown. Man. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. No one's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight. Heaven too. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one cool. thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survive the calamity. Kids faster than a slinger with those guns. Jossie's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Then Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a lunkhead. The lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. Ain't 
anxious to get back. After yeah. all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Oh my god, it is well, no. it was over and now it's it not. Ain't. Not by a long that shot. Magic gel. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Oh my god. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But That's I will heat? not. I thought that was a shit. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to yeah, put it back too. together. The shards. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. I collapse after one drag. <laughs> the past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna end it here because this file size is getting ridiculously big. And I'm in a coma, I guess. In the game. So I'm gonna train because we were finally beating it. We're about to finish it. And then my best buddy just came and was like, do away. So yeah, I'm actually fighting. The past of catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Say he's led a hard life. Suppose okay, what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Wait, face. Never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Heir to the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. actually gonna end it here guys i'm a bit tired and i'll do this tomorrow but yeah good night see you guys later bye